So here's the second of three little videos I'm going to do about specific capacity. This one, we are looking at uh, water passing down a pipe and getting heated. And um, all we know about the water is that it starts at 17.4 degrees, finishes at 36.7 degrees. We know how much water in terms of cubic meters per minute is flowing down the pipe. You know the density of water and you know the specific capacity of water and it's asking what well it's asking check that the heating element is five kilowatts if that's the flow of water is that actually um the, the power rating and so what we need to say is right so in one second what's going on uh, and in one second the temperature is going from um, 300 uh 36.7 degrees c and it's going up to 17.4 degrees c so our, our change in temperature is going to be equal to 19.3 degrees c so that's the temperature raised in a second how much water is getting raised that amount so we know we've got 3.6 times 10 to the minus 3 um, volume in meters cube of water passing through every minute. So we're going to have to divide that by 60. And that's going to give us 6 times 10 to the minus 5 cubic meters passing through every second. And we know that uh, 1 cubic meter is 1,000 kilograms. So if we multiply that by a thousand, we're going to get how much water is flowing, which is 0.06 kilograms. That gives us the mass, which is what we need, because now we know we've got 0.06 kilograms of water being raised by just over 90 degrees every second. So the energy is going to be, again, mc delta theta. So the mass is 0.06 kilograms. Specific capacity of water, of course, is 4,200. We know the change in temperature is 19.3. Multiply those together, and we get an answer. We've got room on the paper of 4863. Oh, yeah, actually, 64 if we round it up. Joules, which is just under 5,000. So that is approximately equal to five kilojoules.